Source evaluation is the most important step you take in any search for information. Let's start with a definition. What is source evaluation? It means taking a critical, skeptical look at both the information itself. Is it valid? Is it appropriate to use? Does it answer the question? And the source that information came from. Which journal? Which magazine? Which television show? Which newspaper? Which blog? Which website? Etc. Yes, social media today contains a lot of incorrect and deliberately false information. A fair chunk of that comes from bots and machines that is not directly human produced. More of that comes from people sharing and retweeting information unwittingly. So how can we deal with that? Remember that the key is to take charge. Remember that you are in control. Social media, indeed the entire internet, is a tool that you can choose to use or choose not to use. Yes, even today, people survive quite well in life without being constantly tied to their smartphones, tablets, and computers. And there are basic rules about information that are important whether you are using social media, a commercial digital site, the general web, or a print book, magazine, or journal. When looking for information, remember, Rule number one, seek information, not affirmation. Are you just looking to find people who agree with you? That's affirmation. Then you are not looking for information. To truly seek information and understanding, be open to information that may make you uncomfortable. Ask questions, stretch the boundaries of your opinions. It's not easy, it never was but it is harder today with the thought bubbles or thought prisons of algorithm-driven social media. Rule number two is an equation. Source plus motivation plus how you want to use a piece of information equals value. Source. If you can, go to the original source of the information, the peer-reviewed study, the video, the news broadcast, the interview, the book, the article, etc. Finding it, getting to it, may not be easy. Don't just rely on someone else's opinion or analysis. Go to the original source and see what was actually said or done. And then think about why that information was produced and shown in that particular way, meaning the choice of words, the images, the layout. Usually it is done in a very planned way in an attempt to create an emotional reaction within you, the reader or viewer. What is that motivation? Do they want you to buy something, watch something, vote in a particular way, send them a donation, believe in a particular ideology? What is their goal? Then how do you want to use the information? Is it appropriate to use for your purpose? Is the information legitimate and valid? Does it actually help answer your question? Through all of these three parts, source plus motivation plus how you want to use a piece of information, you will discover the value of that information to you. The value of the information may be very different for another person. Rule number three, dig deeper. Do not rely on just one source. If the information is important to you, do not rely on just one source of information. Look for other analyses, other opinion, other research that may confirm or refute. The answer to your question often lies somewhere in the middle. To review, the most important part of any search for information is to understand what you have found in the context of how you would like to use that information. Go to the original source, then understand the context. For what purpose was the information produced? Do you understand the information? Then can you use it? Keep in mind that there is a very natural tendency for people and organizations to present information in a way that best serves their own self-interests. Sometimes this is done by deliberate disinformation. Sometimes it is done by truthfully presenting the information that is supportive and not including the information that isn't. There are many shades of these on the spectrum. When the information is important to you, personally, professionally, academically, etc., 
It is essential that you take an honest look at the information you gather. Do not assume that the information must be true or objective just because it comes from a certain source. Be skeptical about the information you find. You don't always need to be cynical, but a little skepticism is healthy and smart.